Hi, Explorer. I'm glad you came back to read another book with me. Today, we're going to talk about a boy whose things are being painted pink. I want to talk to you about different parts that make up a story. Remember that a story is made up of three things. Characters, setting, and events or a plot. Events come in order or sequence. Look for a sequence of events in this story. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be giving you clues along the way, so look for them. Also, this book is fiction. Do you remember what fiction means? Yeah, that's right. It means that this story is not true. We're going to have so much fun with this book. Let's go! Peter's Chair by Ezra Jack Keats Peter's Chair by Ezra Jack Keats Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. Crash! Down it came. Shh! called his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought. And they painted it pink. Now that we read a little bit of the story, I want to talk to you about characters. Can you name the characters on this page? Yeah, that's right. Wow, you guys are really smart. The characters on this page are Peter and his mother. Now, the main character is the one that is most talked about in the book. When I look at the illustrations and the text, I see that Peter is the main character in this book. Oh, 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 by the way, what is the setting of this story? What? What? Setting? Haven't I talked to you about setting? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's remember, the setting is where the story is taking place. So when I talk about setting, I'm really asking, where is the story taking place? In this case, the setting is Peter's home. Remember, we're still looking for events so we can tell what happened first, next, and last. So we better, that's right, keep reading. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. He saw his crib and muttered, My crib, it's painted pink too. Not far away stood his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. Let's talk about the plot. Remember, the plot is the sequence of events in the story. I want you to talk to a partner for 30 seconds to answer this question. What has happened in the story so far? Get with your partner. Are you ready? Go! Three, two, one, come back to me. My question was, what has happened in the story so far? See if you have the same answers I do. The first was Peter's parents painted his old things pink for his baby sister. The second thing was Peter's not happy about that. Did you see the clue? Yes, I gave you a clue. Look for these later and you'll know it's the important stuff. These are parts of the sequence of events that we need to remember for later. Let's keep reading to find more. He picked it up and ran to his room. Hey, it's sight word time and I love sight word time. 
sight words are words that you see so many times that you should memorize them. It's important to know sight words. And as you do memorize sight words, you'll be able to read them in any book that you read. Today's sight word is his. Where's the word his? Can you, can you see it? Yeah, it's right here. Can you spell his? Do it with me. Ready? Go. H-I-S spells his. Great job. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder if the author uses the word his anywhere else in the book. Well, let's keep reading to find out. Let's run away, Willie, he said. Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and the picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely, and he decided to sit in his chair for a while. I stopped right here to talk about the plot again. Peter is upset that his things are being painted pink. But my question is, how does Peter try to solve his problem? You got it. He took his things and ran away. Oh, oh, I forgot. Did you see the clue? This is another important event that we need to remember. Let's keep reading to find another important event. But he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. His mother came to the window and called, Won't you come back to us, Peter dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear. But Peter got an idea. On this page, I thought we could have some math fun. I want you to find the things that are taller and shorter than Peter. Study the picture for 15 seconds to find all the things that are taller and shorter. And then I'm going to come back and ask you some questions. Ready? Go! Okay, okay, stop right there. I will say an item and you tell me if it's shorter or taller than Peter. How about the dog? That's right, it's shorter. How about the chair? Right again, it is shorter. How about, how about the door? Yeah, 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 it's taller. You have some math skills. How about the bag? Right, it's shorter too. Last one, how about the building? Yeah, that's an easy one. It is taller. Your math skills are awesome. Let's keep reading the story to find another important event. Soon his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. She moved the curtain away but he wasn't there. Here I am, shouted Peter. Peter sat in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. And they did. Now that we finished the book, what happened at the end of the story? Did you say Peter came home and helped his father paint the chair pink for his sister? Now that we know the last event, and did you see the clue? Let's remember all the events that happened in order. The first event in the story was... Peter's parents are painting his things pink! The next event was... Peter got mad! Then, Peter took some of his things and ran away. 
last, Peter came home and helped his dad paint the chair pink for his sister. Great job, Explorer. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope you had just as much fun as I did exploring this story. There's so much to do on the Learning Explorer channel. Tell all your friends how much fun they can have. And like always, we'll see you next time. Bye.